Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. The week before last, I visited Iraq, which was an important visit, which I'll report more broadly on to the House at another time. But I wanted to focus these remarks on the Chaldean community. I was very pleased to meet again with his beatitude, Louis Raphael Sacco, the Chaldean uh, Patriarch uh, of Babylon and head of the Chaldean Catholic Church in Iraq since 2013. I've met him previously on his, visits, uh, to, on his visit to Sydney as Patriarch and was pleased to meet with him for dinner, actually, in Baghdad the week before last. The reason I want to particularly pay tribute to his beatitude is that he, this week, will be created by His Holiness the Pope a Cardinal of the Catholic Church, and I think it's appropriate that the, this House uh, recognise uh, this event. Um, as some in the House would know, Chaldeans are a very important part of the Christian population of Iraq and Syria, and uh, the Chaldean Church has been in existence since the year 1552. Uh, migration to Australia for many Chaldeans began in the 1970s and particularly uh, during the uh, uh, post-Saddam uh, crises in both Iraq and Syria. We have welcomed many Chaldeans uh, into Australia and particularly in my community in McMahon. And uh, the Chaldean Church is very ably read, led by the Bishop, uh, His Grace uh, Emil Nona, uh, and I know he joins uh, with the rest of the Australian community in wishing uh, their Archbishop Congratulations on being appointed as a Catholic Cardinal. Uh, Patriarch Sacco grew up on the Iraq-Turkey border. He was ordained a priest in 1974 in Mosul before being ordained an Archbishop in 2003. And again, uh, he shares with many in the House and all in Iraq despair at the destruction of Mosul, something I'll talk about separately in the House on another occasion. He has promoted religious tolerance amongst all uh, religions and he's called for unity with other religions and to quote, especially with Muslims, with whom we have humanitarian, social and national ties. He's an impressive man being able to speak Syriac, German, French, English, Italian and Arabic, Mr Deputy Speaker. Um, he's a man of great determination. He was forbidden from uh, teaching religion uh, during the Saddam Hussein regime after having completed his studies. He sought a meeting with Saddam and was refused. So he then undertook an entirely different doctorate uh, with a small religious component in order to qualify as a teacher under the Hussein wow. regime and continued to teach. He has been also nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. And of course, I'm sure the House will wish him well um, in uh, that endeavour, uh, but most particularly wish him and the Chaldean community in Australia congratulations on his elevation, which will occur in Rome later this week. The Chaldean community was good enough to invite me to go to Rome for that celebration. Alas, uh, I'll be here in Parliament um, with all of us, um, but uh, it is appropriate that um, we do spend a small amount of time in this Parliament recognising his beatitude, Archbishop uh, Sacco, and recognising the efforts and contribution of the Cowden community in Australia more broadly. I thank the Honourable Member for McMahon for a most interesting contribution.